Ciaora and welcome to a new video from NZ Pocket Guide. Today I'm going to give you a full rundown about everything you need to know about the bus network and public transport in New Zealand cities. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so as I'm walking in something which is nothing like a city, we'll go over some of the tips. First up, let's talk about paying for buses in New Zealand cities. Buses in New Zealand cities generally only accept cash or their own network's bus card, such as a snapper card for Wellington or an AT hop card in Auckland. So do make sure that you have some cash if you want to be able to pay for your bus trip. Next up on the list, we have something about Uber. Uber is available in Auckland, Wellington, Christchurch and selected other cities in New Zealand, but it's really not widely available in most cities in the country. So don't rely on Uber to do your transportation around everywhere in New Zealand. You will need to find some other options in cities, such as the bus network that I mentioned before. And speaking about bus networks, if you are waiting for a bus at a bus stop and you see your bus arriving, make sure that you wave at it. Otherwise, the bus may just drive by. In New Zealand, it's not customary for buses to actually stop at each bus stop, but they only stop if they are being waved at. So make sure that you remember that so you don't see your bus just passing right by. Okay, so let's talk about airport transportations. In New Zealand airports, one of the best options to get yourself from the airport to the main cities are actually shuttles. Many shuttle companies offer door-to-door -door services at a fraction of the price that an Uber or a taxi will, will charge. So make sure you check them out as you can shave off a lot of valuable dollars from your trip. Let's, now, let's focus in a little bit on Auckland right now. The Auckland City uh, Public Transport Network features a massive amount of train lines that will reach to some of the outer suburbs of the city. So make sure you check out what options are available for your trip in New Zealand. You may be able to actually base yourself um, quite outside of the Auckland CBD and still have access to all the convenience of the city. Speaking of Auckland, Auckland also has a lot of ferries in the city all the way from Great Barrier Island, which is quite far away, to Devonport, which is just Auckland, Auckland North Shore. So check those one out as well. A lot of excursions such as Rangitoto Island or Waiheke Island start with a ferry trip. The city of Christchurch has also ferries that leaves from Littleton and the city of Wellington has, well, the ferry to the South Island, which is always the best way to enter the South Island as it is an amazing cruise through the Maru Sound. All right, so that's everything I have for you today. Ah, there's a lot of low trees today. Um, there is much more for you on nzpocketguide.com, so make sure to check it out. And the whole team is joining me in wishing you the best time ever in the country.